Hi, welcome to Easy Breezy Math. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk about how I do circles. And when I do circles, area of circles, once my students understand circles really well, I like to go right into volume, okay? Area, as we know, is multiplying two numbers together, base times height or length times width. Volume, which is how big something is, how much space you can, how, how, Volume is what? Volume is how much sand you can pour into an object, right? If I have my cylinder here and I want to just figure out how much this can hold, I want to figure out how much sand I can fill up to it, that would be the volume of it. And that's what we're going to talk about, cylinders right here, okay? So first, let's do our circles, okay? Whenever I have students and they see a circle on a test, I want them to just go ahead and give me all the parts of the circle. So we'll go through these. What's halfway through the circle here? Five. All the way through the circle, 10. Distance around the circle, 10 pi. And then how big is that circle? How much space will it take up? That's my area, 25 pi, okay? They'll get real good at this real soon. Your, your students will love doing circles this way. Um, this is what starts to make the math fun, right? So halfway to the circle here is eight. All the way through the circle, 16. Distance around the circle, 16 pi. How big is that circle? How much space does it take up? 8 times 8 is 64 pi. And we'll do this one. How Halfway through the circle is 9. That means all the way through the circle has to be 18. Distance around the circle, 18 pi. How big is the circle? How much space will it take up? 81 pi. Okay, great. So I've got my concept all set for the circles. Okay. I forgot to put some numbers in here. I'm going to put this height and we're going to put this height in there. Okay, we're ready to go. So now, when I have a circle and we talk about volume of these, circle doesn't have a volume, it has, has an area, right? But when we talk about a cylinder, now we have our three-dimensional figures. Three-dimensionals mean we're multiplying three numbers. But the thing is, we've already multiplied two numbers here. So I like to keep it real simple. Notice this base or this circle for my cylinder has the same radius as the one I've just used above it, okay? So the concept for volume you want them to get is really simple, and I like to show them an actual object. I'll bring my cylinder out again. And what I'm saying is all I need is the base of that circle, the base of that cylinder, how big that cylinder is, and then I'm just going to stack it up like a stack of quarters. That's, that's it. That's all you need for volume. I've got my area of the circle, and I'm just going to stack it up. And just like a stack of quarters, that will give me the volume. So I just have one more number to multiply. So if I have here a circle with the radius of 5, I've already found the area. The area is 25 pi. So all I have to do is say, how many times is that being stacked up? I just get my answer, 7 times. Okay, great. 7 times, 7 times 25, what's 7 quarters? We'll think about it. Oh, $1.75. Right, so that's 100 and 75 pi, and this, of course, is units cubed. Whatever the units are, meters, inches, centimeters, it's cubed, okay? So 175 times pi, you may have to multiply that times pi. You can practice that on a calculator later, but this gets us to volume, a quick concept of volume, real easy and something we can practice right away, okay? Let's take a look at the next one. What's my area? What's my area of the circle for this one? And I'll even, I'll just use my objects right away. This is the area. Okay, 64 pi because the radius was 8. How many times is it being stacked up? Well, 5 times, right? Okay, great. 5 times 60, or 5 times 6 is 30. So 5 times 60 is 300. 5 times 4 is 20. 320. Perfect. We'll put that together. We get 320 pi. There's my volume of the cylinder. Simple as that. No formulas. Haven't used the formula yet. Here I have my circle. I drew a good circle here. Almost perfect, right? I have 81 for my area being stacked up 10 times. 10 times 81. Okay, that's going to be 810 pi. And that's for my units cubed. I could put that in units cubed. Again, whatever it is, meters, centimeters, inches, whatever you want to use, that's fine. But this is what I really need to know. I can go through and punch thing, things on a calculator later on. But I want an easy concept for volume, something that they're going to remember, not a formula that they have to memorize, just something that seems like that makes sense. So I'm going to remember it, right? The area of the circle stacked up. 
Now, the great thing about this is it works for all shapes, right? If I have that concept now and I have a rectangular prism down here, hopefully that we can see this. I don't want to have to do the video over. But if we can see this, I have my rectangular prism. And if it's a rectangular prism, yes, it does. All sides should be equal. So we'll go ahead and make that a five. But here, I mean, in this case, if it's a cube, this would be a cube, right? This one is a rectangular prism, but a cube would have all sides equal. So again, I know that this is a five by five. So this side right here, if it were like a square book or something, it's right there and it's a 25. Five times five is 25. So I know that the area of this is 25. And then again, I'll just say, okay, then how many times is it being stacked? And these, of course, are stacked in a row. They're just stacked in a row on a line. Boom, 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 boom. And I might show them up some books stacked together. That's going to give me my volume. Five times 25 is 125 units cubed. Again, same concept. I didn't change the concept. This is why people like math, because the concepts don't change. They're always the same. Once you understand the rule, it's the rule of, rules of the universe. They work all around the world and in any language. These are reasons why people like the math, right? Seven times four here. What would be the area of this? This is a rectangular uh, prism. or No, this is a rectangular. It is a rectangular prism. Here, and so here, seven times four is what? Like 28. And then it's just stack how many times? 10 times 28, okay, so that's 280 units cubed. Simple as that, volume of the rectangular prism, okay? It even works for my triangular prism here, my last one. I'll go nine times seven. Now we have to find the area of that triangle. It's nine times eight, right? And then for triangles, what do I always do? That's right, chop them in half. So nine times eight is 72, again, I'll just ask each number at a time, what's half of 70? 35. What's half of two? One. So 35 plus one, that's 36. Okay, so I have 36. Then how many times is it being stacked up? Well, it looks like this triangle, if this triangle is 36, I'm stacking up one, two, three, four, five of them. So five times 36 will give me the volume here. And this one is just gonna be 150 plus three, which is 180 units cubed okay so this is a again a concept that they can take with them when once they understand how this concept works they're more likely to remember it it's going to be something that will stick in their heads i didn't use any formulas not that i i'm against formulas or i don't like formulas formulas are great but we want to understand the concept first and then we'll go back and look at the formulas okay all right that concludes this video